I had a really interesting incident. I didn't, I didn't say anything about it because several years ago I was in, uh, in uh, France and I had an incident at a store there and I, you know, complained about, which, which I knew was clearly racism. And because it only happens so often where I am directly confronted with it, where it's so obviously in your face. Andre Walker over there, who is my hairdresser and has done my hair for years, he and I, years ago, this was, was in the late, late 90s or something, wasn't it, Andre? We had gone to see Serafina, and we're like, Serafina! <laughs> and we come out of the play. <laughs> we're going down the street. And um, I tried to get into, I went to, I saw a sweater in the window. This was on Madison Avenue. And uh, they wouldn't open the door. And they wouldn't open the door. And I am not the person who pulls the race card. So I am just so like, wow, gee, I wonder what it, God, do they see us out here? So we went across the street. This is before cell phones were everywhere. Remember, Andre, and we called to say, are you open? Yes, we're open. OK, coming over. Just crossed the street, didn't let us in. We had seen on the way across the street these, these two white women go in the store. and. <laughs> Suddenly, it dawns on the both of us. Andre and I were sitting like, oh my god, I think we're having a racist moment. I think we're having a racist moment. And it was. I later called back to the store after flying back. This is on Madison Avenue, calling, flying back to Chicago and asking the person, well, y you know, I was by your store today, and I wasn't let in, and then the, and they said that they had been robbed by two black people the week before, and they were afraid to open the door. And I mean, the fact that they actually admitted that was so so striking. And uh, I said, I was coming in to buy the sweater. And they said, well, we, we'd like to give you the sweater for free. And I go, you know, keep the sweater, whatever. Just recently, I was in Zurich, and I was at a store. And this was last week. I was in Zurich, and uh, I had gone there for Tina Turner's wedding. And I'd gone out to go shopping, and I'm in a store name brand store, and I say to the woman, uh, I'm by myself, absolutely nobody else with me, and I say to the woman, I would like to see that bag on the shelf. And she says, no, that one's too expensive. I'll show you this one. She did, and she proceeded to tell me about the bag and how the bag was created for Jennifer Aniston, and it was a da 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 da, and that you should want this one. And I said, no, but I really want to see the black one there. The black one, which I think it was, you know, lizard or, or alligator or something, and I'm sure it was expensive. And she said, No, 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 no. You don't well, want how to. How does that make you feel? Not to see that. Well, I wanted to laugh at. I wanted to. I wanted to create a pretty woman moment and go and, and come back and buy everything and say, <laughs> big mistake. But then I thought she'd get a commission, so let's not do that.